On today's trip to the thrift store, I found this Broyhill cabinet. I've been trying to avoid large pieces like this lately, but it was only $25, and Broyhill pieces are usually high quality and worth putting some work into, and the condition wasn't too bad, so I brought it home. The worst of the damage was this scrape. It looked pretty fresh and may have happened at the thrift store after the piece was slid around on the floor on its side. It even has some little rocks and things embedded in the wood. And I see this kind of damage a lot on thrift store furniture. Other than that, it just had the usual scratches and dings. The original finish was murky, but I could tell that once removed, it would reveal some beautiful walnut veneer underneath. I began by stripping off the old finish. And this process ended up being a little more involved than it usually is for me. I ended up using a combination of stripper, sanding, and scraping. And I started by applying stripper to the top. The stripper that I used to use hasn't been working so well for me anymore since they changed the formula. So I tried a new stripper on this one. And I put it on nice and thick and let it sit for about 20 minutes, which is how long I used to leave the old stripper on for, and that always worked pretty well. But I should have read the directions first because the stripper actually calls for a dwell time of three to 24 hours. So when I scraped it off, it only removed a little bit of the finish. So I let it dry and then scraped off the remaining finish with a utility knife blade. You could also use a card scraper for this. I wanted to give the new stripper another shot, so I tried it again on the doors. And I brushed it on and just let it sit overnight this time so it would have plenty of time to work. And I just applied it to that section on the door inside that raised trim. The next morning, it looked like it had worked pretty well. I just scraped off the stripper goop and then washed it down with some fine steel wool and mineral spirits to remove any residue. On the other section of the door, I decided to try sanding the finish off. People ask me a lot why I don't just sand off the finish in the first place instead of using a stripper. And the reason is because the stripper to me just seems less invasive than sanding. It's really easy to do damage with a sander, but the stripper, on the other hand, is pretty safe for the wood. So I sanded this first with an orbital sander being careful to avoid the edges because it's really easy to sand through the veneer on the edge. And then I switched to hand sanding for the rest. And even after being careful to avoid the edges, I still ended up going through the veneer a little bit and I'll have to fix that later. On the drawer fronts, I sanded them first and got off some of the finish with the sander, and then I took the rest off with stripper. And this left me with this uneven color across the drawer front. So I needed to get that evened out 
or else it would show after I put finish on. And to do this, I just did more sanding until it was a nice even color across the drawer front. Here I'm just wetting it down with some mineral spirits just to show what it would look like with finish applied. And the color is now nice and even. On the top and the side of the drawers, I just scraped the finish off. This was quicker than sanding, and if I had used stripper, it would have dripped inside the drawer and made a mess. There's no veneer on this part of the drawer, so the finish that they applied at the factory is pretty much opaque so that it hides the um, lighter wood that's underneath the veneer. And I'll just put some gel stain on here later to darken it up. I also put some gel stain on these areas where a lighter wood was showing. And here I'm just wetting it down so that you can see the difference in color between the walnut veneer and the lighter wood underneath. And this is just the cheaper wood that's underneath the veneer. The factory finish hid these sections pretty well with the tinted lacquer that they applied um, to the whole piece just to give it a uniform color. And I'll be using a clear finish on this one so these sections will need to be darkened a little bit beforehand with the stain so they don't stick out so much. And I also applied the gel stain to the pieces of trim on the doors. They were also a lighter wood than the walnut veneer. So a little gel stain brought them a little closer to the color of the rest of the piece. It didn't have to be a perfect match. I just didn't want it to be a really stark contrast. On that little spot where I sanded through the veneer on the door, I just brushed on some gel stain to darken it up a little bit and blend it in. There was a crack in one of the doors where the screw for the hinge screwed in and that screw had been loose for a long time and the hinge was loose and the door was kind of hanging at an angle and after a while that caused the crack in the wood. So to fix that I just shot some glue into the crack and clamped it up. Then it was time for the final finish. And for this I'm using Danish oil, clear Danish oil, there's no color added. And I haven't used this in a long time, but this seemed like a good opportunity. The uh, veneer on this piece is so nice and in such good shape that I felt like I really didn't need any stain. So a clear finish would work really well. Danish oil isn't pure oil. It's a mixture of oil and varnish. And unlike a um, polyurethane or lacquer, 
that dry on top of the wood and leave a film. This soaks into the wood and hardens in the wood grain. So once it's dry, it almost looks like there's no finish on the wood at all, except that the color has darkened and deepened a little bit. I pretty much followed the directions on the can, uh, except that I added a third coat. And on the third coat, I rubbed it a bit with some 400 grit or 600 grit sandpaper. Can't remember which one, either one will work. And this just kind of smooths out the surface even more and just leaves a nice smooth feel. Once the finish was dry, it was time to put the doors back on. And that was it. Here it is all done. Thanks for watching.